Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today I want to talk to you about the new and revised Google Trends. Google has a merged Google Insights and Google Trends together, and the, and the marriage of these two is a very, very powerful tool that you can use to identify keywords and uh, trends and related terms, all to help with your uh, search engine optimization and even uh, Google AdWords advertising. So here you just go to google.com.au-trends or google.com-trends and there you are, here we are, Google Trends. Now I've put in here, and you need to separate your search terms by a comma, I put in diets and weight loss. So if we go then and we explore this, we can see here um, the defaults are since Google's collected the data back in 2005, so, and you can vary what types of searches you want. I'm going to change this just to Australia. Uh, there we go. And since we're coming up on Christmas, let's just go for the past 30 days. So, hey, look at that. We can see here that uh, uh, diets doesn't have very much traffic at all. It's all about uh, weight loss. And uh, in fact, weight loss, uh, best weight loss diets here are all of the related terms. And you can even click to see there's nothing rising for that one. Uh, but let's add another uh, term if we want. Let's let's do it in reverse and see what happens. How about lose weight? Okay, and it repaints the screen. We can see, yeah, we've got lose weight and weight loss. But obviously, so the order of the words matter. There's more searches for weight loss than lose weight. But here we've got our old friend diets down here on the bottom. So it's not a very positive one. So if you had a product or a service or relative to weight loss, um, you wouldn't want to be calling it diets. You'd want to be calling it weight loss or lose weight. But I have to tell you, I tricked you, and I did this on purpose. Let's go up here to uh, diets and change it to just diet. And now we put it in, and you can see I tricked you because it's actually diet. And diet is much more a powerful term than weight loss and lose weight, uh, but the plural was not. So it all came down to the plural versus the singular. And here I've done a screen capture. Here, here you can see when you do a search on diets in Google, you get 63 million results. But if you put in just diet, the singular, you get 529 million. So you can see how very important the selection of your words is. And again, here's diet. We can see diet plans, diet recipes. We can see those are the um, related terms. We can see what's rising. So obviously, food map um, and HGC and lemon detox. These are all new things that have come out recently. Again, in the last 30 days, all the data here is provided from Google's own search data. So this is the place for you to go to analyze keywords, phrases, singulars, plurals, reversing the order of words see where the sweet spot is for traffic. And, and as I tricked you here, it really is diet, but also you know, weight loss and lose weight. You know, this is all on a scale of a maximum search volume of 100%, and these are you know, 40% of that, 30% of that. So I hope this helps you with your keyword analysis. Um, you should be doing this to determine you know, naming of products, naming of services, these sorts of things so that you get the best bang for your buck in uh, interrupting people's searches so that you find the right sweet spot for those keywords. Hope this helps. Thanks very much. Monty Hipsch, the Guru Guru.